Mac, I'm going to get you to start this off for obvious reasons. Because of your closeness with Coach, uh, it has to be a really different feeling on the 40 acres to start this season with everything that you've got going on, but you don't have Coach, as he's always been known, to be there for you as a mentor and as a guy to help you. Yes, I think like all of us, we, we miss Coach. We miss him tremendously. He's, uh, he is Texas football. He's the, the face of, of football from our state nationally. Uh, he did uh, so many more things than, than just win three national championships because he touched all of us. And, and these guys will touch on a lot of those things. And I know we've still got Miss Edith. And, and thank you, Miss Edith, for, for continuing to be out, be around us, and, and let us feel the royal family because we, we really appreciate that. They talk about that royal family having a baby. This is the royal family to me, so we don't, we don't care about the, about the others. But uh, what Coach could do for me is he would take complicated things and make them simple. Where uh, I'll never forget one of the, the more prideful days in my life. I'm standing out at the first spring practice when I got here. And coach comes out and he's standing there with me and I see the guys running down the hill with the white helmets and the, the longhorn on them and the orange jerseys. And I said, you know, this is really cool. I'm standing with Daryl Royal. He's asking me to go listen to Willie Pick later, so that's really cool for me too because I like country music. But a young high school coach came up and said, uh, Coach, how do I get like you? And I said, uh, he looked at me and I said, oh. So he said, Coach, just tell me what I need to do to be like you. He says, well, you got to have it. And if you've got it, you'll make it. And if you don't have it, you won't make it. And if you don't know what it is, you've got no chance to make it. <laughs> I turned again and said, he turned around, walked off, and coach said, hell, he ain't got it. <laughs> But that was what Coach did. He took complicated things and made them simple for me in my life. And, and, and uh, Coach and I had such a great relationship that anybody up here would tell you. Now, if you ask him a question, if he respected you, he was going to give you the answer he thought, not the one you liked. And it didn't make any difference um, how you felt about it. And that's, that's where he was so good because I'd say things and he'd say, hell no, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. He said, I tried that in 63 and, and nearly got fired over it. So, yes, sir, I got it. I got it. So that's easy. Uh, but these guys up here have, have great relationships with him. And, and Ron, I'd like to start off by, uh, number one, saying that Coach Spike Dykes is uh, one of the best high school, school coaches to ever coach football, especially in our state. And he's done as, as much for high school coaches as anybody could ever do. And then he went to Texas Tech, beat Texas half the time, beat A&M a lot more than half the time. Uh, and when he was coming today, uh, because his kids live in Lubbock and he's got such a great relationship with Texas Tech University, I said, Coach, why don't you put on this Longhorn shirt in Coach's honor today? And he said, you mean in public? <laughs> and I said, yes, sir. And he said, will there be any cameras there? And I said, absolutely not. Nobody will say <laughs> Nobody will mention it. It won't get out to West Texas at all. <laughs> so for all you Texas Tech fans, Coach loves the Red Raiders, and he's doing this only in honor of Coach Rowe in his five years today. So that, let's give him a break. It's, it's, it's really good. And we took a great picture back, back uh, behind the stage. We were all doing this, and I said, no, nah, we can't do that. We, we can get him in an orange shirt. We can't make him do the hooking side today. That, that might get over the top. But uh, Coach had a, a great relationship with Coach Royal. He was a high school coach when Coach Royal called him and hired him. I'd like to ask Coach to share the story of, of Coach calling him and hiring him at the University of Texas from uh, South Texas, and because it's one of the great stories I've ever heard, and it's Coach Royal all over. Well, this is really how complicated he was, you know. I get a phone call, I'm down in Alice, and I say hello, I said, hello, I said, he said, who is this? I said, this is Frank, I actually live, he said, this is Darrell Royal. And I said, who is this? <laughs> he said, this is Darrell Royal. I said, yeah, this is Barry Wright. How you doing, Darrell? <laughs> he said, I beg your pardon? And, uh, that's how I got started at Texas. That was, uh, this is what he said. He said, you know, I guess you know everyone went to a &M, don't you? And I said, yes, sir. He said, well, we got a job open. It's a low man on the totem pole. Everybody starts out at the bottom over there. 
don't know what the damn thing pays. It's probably not a mess you make now. You want it? <laughs> and I said, do what? He said, do you want it? <laughs> I said, well, uh, yeah, uh, Coach, I need to talk to my wife. Oh, yeah. I said, take your time. I said, call me back 20 minutes. <laughs> So anyway, uh, a little longer than 20 minutes, I get a phone call. It's a guy named Mike Campbell. He said, I uh, understand Darrell called and asked you to come to work up there. I said, yes, sir. He said, well, he said you're going to call him back in 20 minutes. He don't wait now, I'm telling you. <laughs> I said, I believe I call him, I want to come. Anyway, I called him back and I said, okay. And he said, well, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> and uh, they were we were playing Penn State, you know, and uh, we were working out at Cotton Bowl. And I said, well, Coach, I've got to go, you know, i got to resign in the morning. I've got to go call the Yeah, I said, yeah, I'll see you about noon then. And uh, I said, Coach, you know where I was see you? No, I really don't know where it is. I'm going to have a hard time getting there. Uh, but anyway, that uh, I went to, went to work here and uh, you know, you talk about blessing to come to the stupid people. Boy, blessing really came to me. I'm telling you, what a great honor. What a great privilege.